Hi everyone, this is Luke. Um, I just wanted to talk about Mark Driscoll in this video. So, you know, I got to know about him uh, a few when I was, I think, a second year of, uh, when a second year university student. And yeah, he, you know, his messages were so powerful and very, he's, he's very knowledgeable. Um, and, you know, I listened to most of his sermons, um, available um, on the internet um, and um, I uh, really um, you know respect him uh, his passion for God and his passion to you know um, to share the message of God and the gospel and the good news of God that God's love for us and it was uh, such a shock that he had to leave uh, Mars Hill Church but um, you know um i really really i'm grateful uh for his theology and his teaching um i was really influenced by his teaching it's still still um his teaching you know is my um world view um has been shaped by a lot of you know the teaching he's um you know he's shared um so i've probably you know followed his teaching and the messages and books you know, probably over, you know, six years or even, you know, um, seven years or so. Um, and, um, yeah, um, even though I don't, you know, follow him as much at the moment now, because I, you know, there are, since then I've found a lot of many good teachers um, on the web. And, um, but I still really respect him. I'm still really grateful um, to God. Um, that he, that I was able to listen to his messages uh, when I was, you know, going through the darkest valley, you know, um, valley of the shadow, you know, um, shadow of death. Um, yeah, um, yeah. So when I, you know, these preachers and pastors, they have something in common, which is their passion for God, their passion for the glory of God, the passion to uh share the message of god so people criticize each individual pastor or teacher but what i'm looking at is not their weaknesses but their strengths what they what's the essence of their being what's what are they, what are they trying to say we can look at all these weaknesses and problems but what i want to look at is what are they what's what's their focus why are they doing what they what they are doing and um, what's in their heart of course i can't see it but you know when you listen to him when you go through the messages they've preached um you get to know um you know that the you know rather than just you know reading the news article or you know short clips of their messages it's such a different you know it's a different um when you actually listen to them carefully and whole vast of messages then you know, you know, their focus is not just a little thing like you can pick and then just criticize. So I really, you know, um, I really want you to rethink and then uh, before you criticize, listen to him or listen to their messages or read their books and see what they, you know, say. Okay, thank you.